Hello, and welcome to SST's web presentation of PDMS to K-Pipe Translator software. First, we start PDMS and open an existing design. In this design, I have highlighted the suction line that I want to transfer into K-Pipe. It is highlighted in pink. If we click the line, we see that it's called 100-B-8 and is made up of two branches. Next, under Utilities, we open the PDMS to K-Pipe Translator. We select Create Single Neutral File and designate an export directory. Let's call this file K-Pipe Suction Line. From the hierarchy, we select 100-B-8 and click Add Current Element to add it to the transfer window. Once we click Apply, we get a confirmation that the data has been exported and is saved under the file name we gave it. We'll minimize PDMS and come back to it later to compare our transferred piping. Now we open the plant design to K-Pipe interface. We browse for the neutral file that we created, K-Pipe suction line, and we open. If you click in the field below, the translator automatically fills in the output file name for K-Pipe format. You can also select your piping code and we click transfer to begin the conversion process. After we have our confirmation that our data was transferred, we can exit and close out of the interface. Next, we open KPipe. From the file menu, we click on import and we select our file name, K-Pipe Suction Line. You see that it's now in an MBF or K-Pipe format. And we click Import. Now let's compare our piping. Here you can see it in K-Pipe. Let's take a look at what it looks like in PDMS. As you can see, it's the same model. Now let's take a look at analysis. First, let's look at support loads. Let's look at the support load summary. Let's also see the sorted stresses. Let's also look at the frequencies. I want to stress here that we did not make any changes to the model that we extracted from PDMS. Now let's go back and talk a little bit about setting up your support and material databases. 
When you transfer all of your data from PDMS to KPipe, you will most likely want to retain all of your material and support information. For this, we have given you the option of identifying all your different support and material types through the use of a database that connects the two platforms. These databases can be created one time at the beginning of your project. KPipe will automatically detect and utilize these databases. Let's see what they look like. As you can see, the left-hand column lists the PDMS supports as designated by the design department. The right-hand column pertains to supports in KPipe. When the design team and the stress engineers create this one-time, easy-to-modify database, the transfer of information becomes extremely fast and efficient. This feature will ultimately save you time and money on all your projects. Now let's go back into our design in PDMS and pick a support location that we are using on the piping we have transferred into KPipe. We click on the piping and locate the support. In this case, 100-B-8-B-01. Now let's locate the name of this support as it is called in PDMS. We open a command line. And now we look for the stext file. This will contain the name of our support. Here it is. It's listed as trxc in PDMS. Now if we go back to our support type database and we look up trxc, we can see that it's a restraint that KPipe identifies as a translational restraint in the X and Z direction. We can see the same restraint in KPipe. Here it is. The KPipe codes for support types are documented under Appendix C in the PDMS to KPipe Translator User's Manual. The same method can also be applied to the material mapping database that you can use to convert all of your PDMS material types into the appropriate KPipe materials. Well, this ends our presentation. Thank you very much.